Hello guys, so welcome back to Graphics Academy. All right, so um, today we are doing something very interesting. Have you ever wondered why your skin tones are never uniform after taking images and retouching and doing all of that? You just know that there is something missing in your image, maybe the skin tones are irregular and all of that. Now, today we are learning how to make your skin tones have a uniform color from like in every single part of the skin. It will have a uniform color and it will look so realistic using hex code. So I think I'll just call it the power of hex code. In a few minutes, you can do this even in 30 seconds and you are done. So before we get started, make sure you are subscribed to our YouTube channel. Click on the notification button to get notified every single time we we'll drop a new video. So before we say a whole lot, let's just get started. Okay, so this is the image we're going to be using. I'm going to be trying out these skin tones of the image. We'll be giving out this skin tone and more out for free. So this is just for dark skin ladies or guys, anyone you want to use. But we are giving out uh, uh, hex codes or skin tone palettes of all skin tones that you can think of as much as you can think of. We are giving it out for free. So all you need to do is just watch the video to the end. Get the password to this amazing pack that we're bringing your way. So before, so without any further ado, let's get started. So the first thing you will do is get your skin tone, the one you want to use, into Photoshop. Create an adjustment layer that is solid color. Then what I want you to do is to pick the skin tone you want to use. But before you do that, you notice that it's uh the solid color property is already covering up the skin tone. So here is the trick. Press OK press OK, minimize it so it open up again and go to your color picker, I forgot that. Make sure it's not in point sample, select 5x5 five five at least. That should give us a good uh, head start. So the reason I'm selecting 5x5 five five is so that Photoshop wouldn't go and a noise in the name of a color. So 5x5 five five means that it's going to average 5x5 five five, like in a square form and it's going to pick all the colors right there. So that's what this is doing for you. So go back to your thumbnail, double click on it, and it's going to open up solid color again. So let me pick up this kit. So, so the hex code is this ND5524. So you can either cram to type in later, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy, I'm going to copy, press OK. So let's leave here, go back to our image, go to solid color again, and press Ctrl V, and it's going to paste. The color now is covering all the canvas. So what do you do? Convert the blend mode to soft light. Look at that. It's already looking amazing. But there's one more problem. It's covering all the image, which we do not want. So we're going to find a way to put it just on the skin tone. And how do you do that? Minimize the solid color. Duplicate your background layer. You can do that by pressing Ctrl J and create a mask, just an, a, a transparent mask, maybe a white mask. Go to your select go to coloring so you can decide to just pick skin tone might do a good job then you increase the fuzziness but it wouldn't give you control to manually select your skin tones the way you want it to so what i always do is that i select my sample color pick any area of the skin then go to plus and now select every other part of the skin so by doing this it gives me manual control over every single part of the skin. So the reason it's spreading out is because our fuzziness is quite high. So fuzziness serves as feather where you are making silentials. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to increase in fuzziness until I've lost every part that I do not want in the selection like that. So make sure your selection is cool. I'll keep reducing the fuzziness. Okay, so I think it's cool here. See, seeing a bit of the hair. So I'm think, I think it's okay here. Just somewhere in the chin nice this is fine press ok now copy this mask by pressing your alternate key and copy the mask and replace the one of the sun color now you are free to delete this layer we can only take in open up the solid color and bam can you see that match your skin tone is already having a uniform color i think this is quite too much so we're going to of course drop the opacity maybe somewhere around 70 ish so the effect to be very obvious so this is before this is after of course you can take your time and now refine your mask but i think i'm going to give it like this now let me show you other things you can do go back to your solid color so you can pick this skin tone again select it let me copy it and go and replace it like that so go inside here 
control V. It's going to change C. So you do not need to do the selections over and over again. So let me just pick a very uh, bright skin tone. So it can the difference can be very obvious. Like this, press control V. Ah, amazing. But I think this is quite so realistic for her. But if this works for your skin, why not use it? It's amazing if it works for your skin. This is before and after. So I'm going back to the original one. I'm going to the back to the original one that I think worked for her. So let me copy. Press OK. Let me go and place Control V. Bam. We'll have it back. So I think I reduced this feel here and it's cool. So this is how you can create amazing skin tones using the magic of hex code in Photoshop. This is before, this is after, this is before, this is after an amazing result. Thank you for watching this video. Don't, so, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the notification bell to get notified every single time we drop a new video. I hope you have a prosperous new year coming ahead. Listen, 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 guys. We have something amazing coming for you this new year. Make sure you stay tuned. It's going to blow your mind. Amazing content. Thank you for watching. See you on our next video.